new banner, dumped it by Gamma Ray, turned into the Hulk. Pee-pee and Glamour Ray, wrecking the town with the power of a bull. Take your monster clown, who is as lovable as ever loving Hulk. Hulk, Hulk. Keeps it real like that. I keep it real. One of the things that you must be able to tolerate, one of the things that you must be able to face when coming to social media, when you are bringing your belief or your idea into a public uh, forum, is that you have those who will disagree with you and that is fine however you also have those not only will they disagree with you your uh, belief or your idea your plan your solution or, or whatever it is that you feel as though you're comfortable with bringing to social media you will always have those because they don't like your opinion. They don't like your belief. And many a time, your belief, they have no real reason to dislike. They have no reason to hate you, dislike you because of that opinion or that belief. You have people because of social media simply because they don't have to show their face. They feel comfortable 
and they are entertained by making mockery, not just commenting on an idea. They cannot talk about your belief or your ideology. They have to step up and begin, and especially if you uh, show your uh, physical face and you tell them about your life, they will ignore your belief and your ideology or whatever it is that you bring into YouTube because they are smarter than you and they want you to bow down to whatever it is they feel you want, they want you to be. Then they ignore the belief or the idea and they look at you as a person your hair, your eyes, you show them the kind of car you drive, anything they can find, they will lash out to make mockery and try to degrade you on this form. I have seen that since 2007. It does not bother me. It's like uh, water on a duck's back. I just let the water uh, just slide off. It does not bother me. If it bothered me, then I would have joined the countless uh, persons since 2007 who have come on YouTube or the social media and the trolls and these hate-filled type persons and these looking for entertainment, they run them off also to say that YouTube or social media itself harass and threaten persons. You have employees, and I know this, you have employees of YouTube and Facebook. They make accounts going to your social media, hiding behind these avatars, having fun, making mockery of people, threatening, harassing, and I know this. This has been done. And so this is the type of thing I have been dealing with since 2007. But I am powerful. I am strong. I am like this incredible hope. It's going to take a lot. More than some trolls. More than your little. Whatever you got to bring. Bring it. Because Hulk smash. So they lie on you. And they tell half. Half lies on you. And make mockery of. Whatever you show them. So, one of the things that they love to bring up, which is very, very old, and clearly it has done nothing to stop me, stop my voice, and stop the attraction to those who still come to this ministry called the Realities Temple on Earth. I am the one that brought this to the attention. It would not be found. It is not public record. I am not shamed. Like so many soul brothers and sisters in this country, I was unjustly in prison. I was unjustly incarcerated. Now, you have these frauds, you have these fakes who talk about the school to prison pipeline. And when they first meet you, they will say, oh, brother, I understand. That's a terrible thing. What the evil devil white man done to you. But then you will say, I am not an African. You will say, I don't believe in Hebrew Israelite. You will say something that they don't like. And then the same thing they tried to show you their fake uh, empathy. Now they use your uh, um bad experience your misfortune to use it against you to try to convince other people you don't know what the hell you're talking about and the sad thing about it is so many self-made scholars out here on social media many of them came from jail many of them came from prison many of them came from uh, have a history of uh, 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 insanity or whatever in mental institutions they come from the same place, but they are telling or they're teaching something that the trolls and 
these wicked, nasty, devilish people like. So, that's all right. Because it was a misfortune, but at the same time, I have an advantage. Because if you want to use my misfortune against me, why don't you use the whole thing? Because when it's all said and done, the same people that said Angel Snuffin' Up 7 is a criminal and has a mental illness, they are the same ones that say Angel Snuffin' Up 7 needs no medication, Angel Snuffin' Up 7 has no mental illness, and Angel Snuffin' Up 7 has been studied, studied for 10 years. Have you been studied? Studied by my enemies. This is what my enemies say about me. This is not what I say. This is what the court of the United States of America in the state of Missouri has determined that this man has no mental illness. This man needs no medication. So if you're going to tell the story, you want to make mockery, tell the whole story. But they only, they only tell up to the point that they think will benefit them. And I feel sorry for those who listen to liars and deceivers because that's what you have done. I have been studied. There's nowhere, there's nowhere in my records of 10 years, they do not say that I'm a liar. You call me a liar all the time. They don't call me a liar. They don't say that I disrespect women. They don't call me violent against women or anybody. I have been studied for 10 years. You have not been studied for 10 years. We don't know what, nor who you are. I keep it real here. That's why you can't mess with me. All that you do is make me angry. And I don't care about your house. I don't care about your car. I don't care how you live. None of that. Your ideology has error. Your ideology has your belief, has a flaw. And that's what I bang on. I don't care about all these others. I don't care who you married to. I don't care about that, those type of things. It's not personal. It's ideological. That's what I am about. And I'm, about, I'm also about keeping it real. So you have those who seek to make mockery of Angel Snub Nub 7 who, who think that they can debate. And you, there's nobody. I'm the most powerful voice on YouTube. You don't have nothing coming at all. Your belief system has a lot of flaw and error. Your ideology, whatever it is, is all messed up and you don't want to hear it. Well, that's just too bad. And even if you do talk about me, I'm listening to you because I want to get better. Because sometimes we don't see our flaw. We don't see our error. So I'm listening to you so I can be better. I said, uh, geez, he or she is making a good point. I will learn from you because I want to get better. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed of anything that I've done. But if I'm in the wrong, I'm in error, I don't mind doing what I have to do to correct myself so I can be better. But unfortunately, these pieces of trash, these parasites, these trolls, they don't dwell on those things. They dwell on just trying to make my grand. It's not going to work because I don't care. You can say whatever you want. Everything that you say, everything that you do, I've heard it before. Been there, done done that. That's why Angel Snub No. 7 smash. Because when I come for you, I'm not coming for you as a person. I'm coming for, your, for you in the truth. The reality of things. And that's why you can't mess with me. You have to lie on me. You have to make up cartoon stories about me. That's not true. While I dig on your, I, I expose your real character. You're not a brother. You're not a sister. You're not some damn African. You're just a Negro living in America. You're not no Muslim. You're not righteous. You're a bunch of whoremongers and liars and pedophiles. Self-righteous trash. And you don't like my words because you know that it's true. There's nothing righteous about you. There's nothing holy about you. Celebrity seekers, praise seekers, arrogant. 
and you are liars. And easy to get caught up in your lie. There is no truth in you. You are of your father, the devil. And your father was a liar, and you are too. Who is your father? The racist is your father. And that's where you learned it all from. Racist. And if you dig deep down inside of all this blackity black stuff, you're going to find the white man. Because that's where it all come from. Because that's all that you know. You ain't never been no damn Africa. You ain't never been nowhere else except in the good old USA. Whatever you are, when you break it down, down to the nitty gritty, all the way down to the root, you're going to find the white man. Because that's all that you know. And you can talk about Marcus Garvey all you want to. You can talk about Master Farad Muhammad all you want to. You can talk about what the Bible say all you want to. When it's all said and done. When you start looking for the root, when you really do your research, when you really get your information, you ain't nothing but a, a Oreo cookie. You ain't nothing but a double, a, what they call it, a double, double, uh, a double stuffed Oreo. That's all you are. You're not in a, in a position to talk about no other brother and sister in this country like you better. You're not. Because if you was better, you would be doing better. But you're not. The only thing you can do is bring your lazy ass on to YouTube and play on it. Another another toy that your parents gave you. Just like you have parents that don't want to take care of their children and sit them in front of a TV. This, uh, this internet does the same thing for you. You don't have nothing else better to do. And you come on YouTube so that you can play. Because the white man give you something, a TV, a cable, something to sit your happy ass, dumb, dumb ass in front of. And you think that you smart. There's nothing smart about you. I have asked those who call themselves, want to debate me, bring it. I don't have not one email, not one request, and I'm not going to get anything like that. Because I'm ready. Ain't just snubbing up seven smash. I want to smash you. I'm in the mood for crushing these bums. When you leave, I want you to go with your tail between your legs. You, Because I know, you know, and I know you can't do nothing with me. Your best bet is to take your happy ass on and leave me the hell alone because ain't nothing coming. Hulk smash and Angel Snub Nuts, <laughs> Angel Snub Nuts 7 also smash. Because I keep it real. Jot down your comment. Let's talk. In the name of my ancestors, peace forever and always, and welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. Of course, I am the gatekeeper or the host of this particular program, known here on the internet as the mighty, 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 mm, Angel Snub Nub 7. I am your brother. And hopefully your friend, Tali Ibn Ra. I want to talk to us for these brief minutes. And I really enjoy and I appreciate. And, and certainly it is an honor that you would give me a few minutes of your time. Upon these few minutes... I would like to speak about something that we all are guilty of, that we all 
are a victim of that we all need to really work on ourselves. There should be no one among us who believe they are so self-righteous, who believe they have truly gone beyond what we call the Negro, the Sambo, that we've gone beyond and have become awakened to truly be what we call gods and goddesses or we carry the traits of kings or queens and believe that after 400 years by reading a book, by listening to a DVD, that suddenly we've changed from niggas, excuse the, the word, I'm not going to say the N word, we, we know, we hear the word every day, let's not be self-righteous and holy, holy glory guys, we, we understand, even little children, they hear the word nigga, y'all say it in your house, let's, so let's get off that tip, we've, we've gone beyond nigga and niggerdom, ghettoish or whatever you want to call it, just because we call ourselves black revolutionaries, black liberators, black nationalists. We think that we've gone beyond our people. But as you know, no one can rise above their people. So no matter where we think we're at, as long as our people are where they are at, we as a people or as a unit, then we have not gone nowhere. In fact, we still carry the traits that keep our people decimated, keep our people in a horrid condition. There is a fictional character called the Incredible Hulk. And just to give you a short uh, description or give you a background on the Incredible Hulk, which is a fictional character. No, now, don't think this creature is real. Many of you have heard of the Incredible Hulk. The Incredible Hulk is Bruce Banner. He was a scientist. He was exposed to gamma radiation. And when he becomes angry, you would not like him when he becomes angry. Something about the exposure to that radiation, anger triggers a transformation in him, and all those emotions, all those things, those negative things inside of him that's, that's built up, makes itself manifest in a physical creature, and they call that the Incredible Hulk. Now, it is strange. But the Incredible Hulk is not a supervillain. The Hulk is not a bad guy. The Hulk is a superhero. The Hulk is a superhero just like Batman and Robin, Superman, Spider-Man, Thor. The only problem that we have with the Incredible Hulk is that he has an anger management problem. He does not mean to destroy. He suffers from a temper tantrum. And this happens when Bruce Banner becomes angry. He turns into this Hulk. The only way that he can control this Hulk, this demon inside of himself, is that he has to control his emotion. Why are you saying this? Why are you bringing this fictional character up? To us, brother, we live in the real world. Do you? Well, that's a whole different uh, topic, but I'm using this as an analogy or an example. There's one called Master Wallace Farah Muhammad, who came to us July 4th, 1930. He is the teacher of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. What type of attitude did Master Farah Muhammad have? Master Farah Muhammad did not call our people niggas. He did not call our women hoes and bitches. Master Farah Muhammad said, if only I can reach just one person, 
I would be happy. Master Farah Muhammad shown to the black man and woman in America great love. There is a person, some of us may think that Jesus was fictional, but just like I'm using the Incredible Hulk as an example, I want to use Jesus. Jesus was a loving soul. Jesus is a loving person. Even when Jesus was crucified, Jesus was quoted as saying, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And this is why he was being crucified. Jesus shown no hatred to those who were crucifying him. Jesus shown the people that he claimed that he loved and cared about love. Master Farah Muhammad shown the people of whom he claimed that he came here for love. But we who are supposed to be awakened, we who claim that we believe and follow Jesus, we who claim that we follow Master Farah Muhammad, we who claim that we follow all our brothers and sisters in the past, who clearly love us as a people. We cannot control, and we have a problem in controlling the beast that rages inside of us. Deep inside you and me, there rages a beast. And what is that beast? I call it the incredible nigger hulk. I call it the still, the manifestation, the still living essence of, of us as being dark Europeans. We still have an Uncle Tom mentality. We have an Uncle Ruckus mentality. It is still inside of us. We was born that way. And just because you listen to DVDs all day long, just because you watch videos all day long, just because you talk a lot of black conscious, black liberation, nationalist stuff and wear African looking clothes and all that, does not mean that the nigger that the incredible nigger hook is not deep inside of you and me. This is where we make our mistake. This is where our self-righteousness comes in. Because we are far from being Master Farad Muhammad. We are far from being a Jesus. Because they never shown any sign of the incredible nigger hook. But we, in our interaction with one another, as soon as a brother says something you don't like, do something you don't like, then that nigger hope begins to rise out of us. In fact, some of y'all call yourself nigger. So, of course, such should be expected to come up out of you. And instead of trying to get rid of the incredible nigger inside of you, you embrace it. You mix. You mix black conscious with nigger attitude. All and water don't mix. Either you want or the other. The reality is most of us and many of us, the majority of, of us, we are still niggers. We are Uncle Toms. We are Uncle Ruckuses. That's what we are. That's why you have not risen above your people. In fact, you cannot do that. And that's why your people are not attracted to us. Because they see niggers. They see the incredible nigger hook. They see dark Europeans. They see hypocrites. They see fake people. And we turn around. And we attack our own people. And again, the hook is not a villain. It is not that you are a bad person. It is not that you are a villain. It is not that you are evil. You have an anger management problem. And in your anger, you mess around and destroy the people that you claim that you love. You mess around and you destroy the black liberation, black nationalist movement, or however you want to describe it. You destroy the same thing that you claim that you love. The reason why the so-called black revolution did not get started in the 1960s and it did not grow. Is because of the incredible nigger hulk. That beast 
that rage is within all of us. And some of you are in denial. And in your denial, it makes no difference because that incredible nigga hook always show up. You have a temper tantrum problem and you begin to lash out like the incredible hook. Mind you, you are not evil. Mind you, you're not a bad person. Mind you, you are a good person at heart, but we have a temper tantrum problem. You have an anger management problem. You have not learned how to control the beast within so when you get angry and you don't want to be around me when I'm angry, the incredible nigga hook always come out. Now, some of us are slick. We don't show our hook in the public, but we go behind closed doors and call them other black people that we don't like nigga and hate their guts. Then we come up out of the out of the room and then in the public we smile. That is another way of being in denial. It is in us. This beast rages inside of us. Do you think that overnight that you can get rid of this animal? After being an animal, savage, being turned into a beast for over 400 years, you was born an Uncle Tom. You was born a dark European. We were born that way. It would take generations to get rid of the incredible nigga Hulk. You and I, we can begin to process, we can begin the process to get rid of of this this evil this thing that is inside of us but we will never live to see what life is about without the incredible nigga hook the only thing that we can do is try to find a cure and we do have the cure but we don't want to take it we don't understand it And the first thing that you must do in order to cure yourself is to really love your people. You have to control your temper tantrums. You must be like Master Farad Muhammad. You must be like Jesus. You must be like those. Because these, our people are sick. We are sick. In order to help our people, in order to help ourselves, we must control the beast within we must show our people patience. We must show our people compassion. We must show our people understanding. Show ourselves those things. Because surely, you wouldn't like me when I get angry. We see this every day. And that is why this movement that you claim that you love cannot move forward. Because you cannot control the beast within. So, brothers and sisters, I hope that we, not just myself, we learn this lesson. And it is, it is a very difficult thing. Bruce Banner has yet to control the beast within. But we got to try for the sake of our people and for the betterment of ourselves as an individual. So that we can get this beast, the real beast, off our back once